I'm Dr. Reggie Blake, the Interim Associate Provost and Dean for Curriculum and Research here at City Tech. I am um, formerly, formerly from the Physics Department. I have been the BMI Director, the Black Mill Initiative uh, Director, since its inception in 2005. And I've been mentoring students here at the college since 1994. This afternoon I have two of our great students with us, two amazing students. And I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves. Uh, Tevin, would you please? Yes. Hello everyone. My name is Tevin Harris and I majored in Computer Information Systems here at City Tech. And I was the past president of the Black Male Initiative Club. And I also worked for Student Life and Development as a student worker, where I engage um, in a lot of events to help bring students closer. Hi, uh, my name is Amalia. I was a mechanical engineering major when I was here um, from 2015 to 2019. I also was part of um, the BMI club, which is the Black Male Initiative Club, as treasurer. And I partake in a lot of um, different activities and worked as a student worker with College Now for many of the years while I was here. Now, did you know that students who participate in college activities and thereby make the most of the opportunities afforded to them outside of the classroom, not only enjoy the college experience a whole lot more, but they also get better grades and they're more desirable candidates for employment. So today we will talk with you both about your experiences with clubs at City Tech, and we'll start with you, Tevin. And I want to ask you the question, why should students get involved in club activities at City Tech? Um, thank you, Dr. Blake. Um, so for me, in terms of um, participating, I remember when I didn't have much interaction on campus and the moment I found the Black Male Initiative, I did see a lot of difference in terms of my GPA and also becoming more involved on campus. Amalia, any, any thoughts? One of the things that participating in clubs help with is helping the students to have better preparation in their, on their resumes for job success. So you get to, when you participate in different clubs, you get to develop different skills such as leadership, problem solving, communication, and time management skills. So these clubs that you talk about, when, when do they meet? So the time when they meet, um, City Tech usually set aside a uh, time on Thursdays from 12.45 to 2 p.m., right? And that's when no classes take place. You can get to go to one or several other different clubs. So what can one expect? when one joins these clubs? Hmm. So when joining the clubs, there are two umbrellas of um, types of clubs that you can join. There are the co-curricular clubs that directly relate to your academics, such as if you're in mechanical engineering, you can join clubs that are directly related to that, such as the mechatronics club. And you have the extracurricular clubs that are more geared towards your personal interests and help more with social events that are happening around campus. In terms of the co-curricular clubs, there is the undergraduate research program that's happening where students, they get to do different experiments and research on different fields that they are very interested in and which also helps them in the classroom to gain a deeper understanding of different topics. For me, I participated in the research with the me mechanical engineering department where we get to work to see how we can use technology to help best with people who have injured limbs. There's also the Black Male Initiative Club that helps students them get better involvement in clubs and with their academics, with the support that they are receiving with tutoring, mentorship, and different sorts of activities. Another co-curricular activity or club that students can partake in is the Honors College Program. That is where students who are very high achievers get to take part in different social events to celebrate their academic success and different things that they are achieving. There are also different clubs that are major based that you can participate in throughout the year that Tevin's going to talk about. Yes, um, thank you, Amalia. So these clubs that are related to your majors, such as the Tea Club, that um, is coming from the hospitality management um, program and also the moving pixels which comes from the communication design program and there are um, over 75 other clubs you can go to the city tech website on the screen to find more information 
you can also start a club by yourself meaning that you would just need 15 students 15 interested students to sign up and you need one um, academic advisor to help you with that for myself um, we were able to start a club in the mechanical engineering department as well which is the um, virtual reality club where we just got to explore more about virtual reality and done some different projects that was extremely fun the thing is there are also programs or contests that you can participate in throughout the year that does not take as long of a commitment. Absolutely, Amalia. And, and here are three examples that uh, students can think of. Uh, there's a City Tech Writer Competition, there is the Annual Speech Contest, and there's also the Megatronics Contest. And these are just three of the many different types of contests and competitions that students can indeed participate in. So there's also extracurricular uh, programs and clubs that are not directly related to your majors. Such program and club involves student government where you can vote for your, um, your current student body who you want to represent you throughout the semester and fight for issues that are important to you as well. In addition to that, there is also affinity clubs. Dr. Blake, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, uh, at least two, two come readily to mind. There is the Bengali Student Club and the Chinese Christian Club. And there is also the Caribbean Association uh -huh, Club that's, that's correct. attached to the affinity clubs as well. In addition to those different clubs, there is also peer mentoring, participating in different community events such as the Black Solid Solidarity Day and the Literary art festival, all of these were very helpful, become more involved in um, the college experience. Yes. Um, also, in addition to what um, Amalia mentioned, there's also social events such as Welcome Back Bash and De-Stress Week. So we've compiled a list of links that we mentioned in our conversation today, including the Yellow Jacket Journal, where you can find information about clubs and events taking place at the college. And for more information, you can speak to your professors or to your fellow students as well. Thank you for watching today. And we hope that you join the different programs, clubs, and activities that are happening on campus so you can have a more well-rounded experience for yourself. Thank you all for listening.